Oh yeah. What a load of crap that just was. How's it going, everybody? Let me know that everyone can see slash hear me. That'd be great. I have an echo, so I'm going to deal with that. <clears throat> Let's mute this guy right here. Let's mute that and let's go back over here. There we go. That should be better. Let me know if you guys can hear any feedback or anything funky. George looks good. Okay, perfect. Nicodemus, how are you? Bippy, what's up? Mining tactics. Rawl, welcome. I want to talk to you too. Dum da da dum dum. So how is everybody? It's Friday. I guess it's Saturday for some of you. Um, yeah, how's uh, what's the weekend looking like? Yes, that picture was AI. Um, that is uh, that would have been uh, Mid Journey. I think did that. Yeah, it's been a while. We're gonna go over a little bit of that stuff. Chilling in the Carbon Discord. Nice, nice. Yeah, I need to pop in there. I got to chat with those fine folks. Got uh, got a couple of things, actually. That's on my list. I'll be talking about that, too, a little bit later. Mr. Blue, how's it going? Schmenkins. hey -o. So, like I said before, we were supposed to be on Rumble, and rumble failed me actually i wasn't on when i said that because uh stream labs or uh this thing the stream yard screwed up and i had to restart my it doesn't matter you guys don't care about that it's all good sawhawk sunhawk <clears throat> PC is acting funny. May need to reinstall Windows. Actually, you know what? I'm due for a full wipe on my system as well. I was thinking about it the other day. My current setup that I'm running today has been in. It hasn't been wiped in six years. Six years. Can you imagine? <laughs> uh no it's really yeah it's not me it doesn't even look like me if you if you can actually get like a big view of it it those my tattoos don't look anything like that or anything it's uh yeah it's brutal i wipe every time i'm assuming you're not talking about your computer I try to only wipe every other, th every three times. That's how often I wipe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see, okay, so I'm not the only one. Nicodemus, he hasn't done his since 2016 either, yeah. <laughs> 
Hey, potato animation, that, that just means you have a lot more time in your day than we do. Like, we just don't have time to wipe that often. That's, that's all that is, right? Windows 98 had to reinstall quarterly and it progressively got better. Yep, I agree. Careful, though, you're aging yourself there because there's, uh, there's some young pumpkins on here that uh, don't even know what Windows 98 is. Remember, uh, what was it, NT? Windows NT or something like that? That was supposed to be the end-all, be-all. Oh, I got my vape, bud. Don't even worry about that. It's right here. Never goes very far. Always chucking clouds. Anyway, so let's get into it. Let's, uh, how many of y'all are in here? Yeah, that's good. That's about what I expected for, for today's stream. So a couple of things. We're going to go over actually a quite a few things. So first and foremost, though, um, one, of the, one of the things that the community really enjoyed or, or indicated to me that they enjoyed was uh, me and my community hopping into onto a server and, I don't know, critiquing, maybe just playing around. Uh, I, I, think, I think a lot of people were expecting it to expose their server to more players. Uh, unfortunately, that's not what I ever would have expected out of it because the people that follow me on this channel, on these channels, I should say, uh, they're also admins. They're not players looking for a home, um, but they are willing to hop into your server, generally with me while I'm doing a live stream and, uh, you know, critiquing, playing around, finding the bugs, um, you know, some suggestions. We, we usually get a lot of suggestions out of doing that type of activity. But uh, anyway, so I just... I thought I would do it a little bit differently. I actually seen somebody else doing something similar. So what I'm going to do is I've put a link on the on the screen there. You should all be able to see it. And so what I'm going to do, actually, I'll put it in chat too, because that'll make it a, a lot easier. What I'm going to do is I'm going to randomly select maybe two or three or four. I guess it's going to depend on time. Uh, people that submit these forms. And then we're going to hop into their server. We're going to make a big, big ordeal about it. Same thing. I wouldn't expect you to get an influx of players uh, because that's not really what this is about. But you can definitely get some feedback on your server as far as, you know, what should be, what could be better, what should you do, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm going to show that link a couple of times throughout the stream. Here, let me do that right now. And uh, let's get back into helping out some new server owners uh, and, and get their, get them sorted out, get them helped out with uh, what they might need. And if nothing else, it's just a good time. Like, honestly, we had a lot of fun doing that. We had really good responses from people. And, uh, oh, there, it's going to double up. That's cool. Uh, we had really good responses and uh, a lot of really good suggestions. Of course, there was some, you know, maybe not so uh, helpful responses, but uh, that's okay. Boring, show us your kits. I don't have any kits, especially the server that I'm on right now. This is my, this is my, uh, This is the server that I'm on right now. This is literally my test server. And uh, of course it was you that had to say something because boom, there's carbon right there. Hello. Anybody that's not using carbon, you should be using carbon because it's fun. I like it and it works really well. So anyways, we're going to get back into that. So jot down the link that I posted in the chat there. And uh, let's get this started up. So what I'm going to do, because it's going to take a little bit, a little while to get people to submit some forms, um, I'm going to let this run for a, a couple of probably days, uh, heading up to my next live stream. And then on live stream, I'm going to actually select randomly from the list of submissions. Uh, flavor, I'm on literally no flavor. I'm... I dropped the apple pie from back in the day and I've gone to no flavor and I've not turned back because 
Yeah, that's just the whole other thing. No flavors for me. So anyways, yeah, so that's uh, that's where I wanted to start. And then secondly, not secondly, because I'm not doing this in, in numbered order or anything like that. Uh, I wanted to let you guys know kind of what happened and, you know, where I've been for the last little while. And it's, um, it's kind of awkward, actually. I got in my own way. And so when I first started out this channel, these channels, this community, um, I didn't have any expectations. I, I honestly didn't think it was going to get as big as it did. And, and then you start looking at it from a different viewpoint. You start seeing things in a different way. And I thought, okay, cool. You know, this is really growing into something. And I thought with that was going to come some contacts. And it's, uh, how do I word it? I thought it would have gained the attention from from a group of people and it didn't. And it w what was worse than that is I even tried reaching out to those people to to like um I, I wanted to collaborate with them not not for the channel but f more for the community like hey this is what's going on here and I know that the community would love to have this type of exposure uh to what you can provide. And a not only did they not do that they i can't get a response out of them at all and that really frustrated me for some reason and it was just at that time of the year uh it just it piled on a whole bunch of things and that was just kind of like the straw that broke the camel's back and i said you know what now nah, i'm done and i was gonna quit for like a week or 10 days i was like you know what this i've done everything that i can do with this community and I was going to quit. And my wife actually was like, no, like, that's the, that's the wrong way to look at it. Like, go back to the reason why you started what you're doing. And, and it basically revive that uh, motivation. And she was right. And I did. Um, so that's why we're back. And I'm excited to be back, actually. I came back into it with a, a whole new rejuvenation for the things that I was doing. And... Um, which is really good. Uh, it's good for me and it's good for you. And it's also good for all of the partners that I've picked up over the, the, the four ish years that, uh, before my little break there. <clears throat> uh, yeah, that is a thing. The, the rubber banding, we're going to come, we're going to come back to that. That's actually on my list here too. Anyway. So, Audit form, yeah. <laughs> that's Schmenkins. It's actually funny you say that because I seen something come up on, uh, I don't know, somewhere Instagram or something like that that said nobody cares. Get back to work, and that's exactly that's exactly what it was. Is I was like, you know what? You're right. Nobody cares. Just get back to work. Keep grinding, and because nobody gives a shit. So like, what do you? What do you basically, what am I pouting for was essentially what it came down to. And that's what it was. I was pouting. I was throwing a hissy fit and yeah, it was that meme on Inst I'll say on Instagram, uh, that made me get back to work. Yeah. Nobody gives a shit. Get back at it. And, uh, yeah. Hey lizard. Cool. So, uh, because it got brought up here, uh, in the, hang on, let me pull it up here before I say where, because. It was, oh, I think it's in RAC. Yeah, so if you're in the RAC uh, Rust Admin Community Discord, uh, Ryan actually posted, uh, which is actually Riser, I should say. Uh, Riser posted um, a Harmony mod that is supposed to fix all of those little uh, hitches and rubber banding and stuff like that. Until, until Face Punch deals with the issue. Apparently, it's a known issue. They know what the problem is. They just haven't fixed it yet. Unless they have today. I haven't checked today. Um, I dumped that Harmony mod into uh, my two live servers. And it seems to have uh, solved that issue. So whatever it is, that's 
So um, I'm not going to link to the Rust admin community, uh, but that is where that is. It's in their announcements channel in Rust admin community. Yeah, Lord Marcus, you know what? That's exactly, thank you for saying that. Um, that's exactly what it is, is I was looking bigger. Uh, I, was, I was looking up and I was forgetting who was coming up behind me. And I got really pissed off with myself because I was doing it for the people that were coming up behind me. I wasn't doing it for, to reach out to this, this other group of people. So who cares if they don't answer me? Who cares if they don't, you know, even agree with what I'm doing, which maybe they do, maybe they don't. I no longer care. Um, and then all of the partnerships that I've, that I've built over this time too, I was, I was kind of sloughing them off. I've got, the the team over at Code Fling, man, and Loan for that matter, they I I can call them up anytime, just literally any time of day, and whatever I need from them, they're they're right there to help me out. Um, the the guys at Ice Host, my hosting company, they host my servers, uh, my Discord bots as well as Bot Reaper, um, my website, they host everything, and I'm like, what are you doing? Like, show some damn appreciation for the people that you have met instead of throwing a hissy fit about the people that you haven't met. And that's exactly what it came down to. I was so pissed off at myself when I came to that realization of appreciate what you have instead of concentrating on what you don't have. Man, I was mad at myself. Anyways. So anyways, that's what happened. Uh, this, this was uh, October of 23. We're now at... Uh, April of 24. So yeah, I took six months off. I'm kicking myself for it. I wish I didn't do that. And yeah. So that's that. All right. That was the, that was the shitty part of the conversation. I, was, I just wanted to let everyone know kind of what happened there. And I know I had hundreds of messages on discord and email and stuff like that. People checking up on me, which is fantastic i absolutely appreciate all of them uh but i was starting to think that maybe people were starting to get worried and i was like no 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 no. like i'm fine i was just throwing a hissy fit and uh yeah that's essentially <clears throat> how that played out carbon is actively updated carbon is updated a lot it's awesome Uh, no, uh, I've got, I've got a video on, if you want to get carbon on your server, I've got a video for it. I think I've got a video and a live stream both, uh, where we, we did it. It's super easy. The only thing that, um, you, you need to be aware of before you head into carbon is anything that has anything to do with, um, kill you, um, chaos code. If you have any chaos code plugins, uh, like admin menu, for example, don't expect that to work on carbon. And I don't know if it ever will. Um, I, there was a period where they were working on trying to make it work out, but it just didn't. And like, as of right now here, I can check right now. Yeah. So the admin menu still doesn't work on carbon. Call crusher. I appreciate that. Thank you. Another thing you're going to start seeing a little bit more of on on my channel uh like and the videos that i post is uh different ways of donating and th the reason i'm bringing this up like this is because people are always asking for different ways you know not everyone likes youtube memberships i don't blame you not everyone likes patreon i, I but i have those things and you can do that too but i've also got a Streamlabs link which is essentially just like a tipping system uh it's not subscription based like memberships and patreon both are um, if anyone is interested in that, you can hit me up right there. It's just, uh, you know, it's just your typical landing page for, um, for tipping. You probably, if you've spent any time on Twitch, uh, you're going to be very familiar with that. Uh, oh, admin menu works. That's interesting. 
I will have to double check that because I literally just checked it on my, I have it in front of me. And okay, so my apologies. So I'm being informed on, t on the Twitch chat that admin menu should work. So if it doesn't, it could be my issue. Okay, good, 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 good. We're gonna check on that. Okay, I got you. Rawl, Schmenkins, gotcha. I was wrong. I'm going to check that. Oh, chaos, chaos extension inside the carbon extensions folder. Ah, okay, that makes sense. No, death, you're right. You don't need it with, with carbon. You can do everything inside of the carbon panel that you would use admin menu for. It's just a lot of people are like, they're used to admin menu, so they uh, they uh, insist on it. I don't know. I, I've seen it quite a few times. Jesus, death, look at this. Death from Codefling has dropped 10 memberships to the channel. So if you get a membership from Death, you make sure and say thank you in chat. He is the man. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. The funny thing here is it should be on this one, and then it would actually show us what's going on because all of these people are currently getting memberships from Death at Codefling. Thank you so much. Uh, William Long, what about anti-offline protection? That's just a simple plugin. There's a couple of different ways you can do it. Uh, I don't love that, um, but I think what you're asking about is actually offline protection so that people can't get raided while they're offline. Um, uh, but yeah, there are a couple of plugins out there. There's a free one on UMod for sure. I actually just dumped it off of my live server for this wipe. Um, I was running offline raid protection there. <clears throat> admin menu i do like admin menu from chaos code i think he's done a really good job um the what death was saying though is true in that with carbon you don't need it because it all of those capabilities from admin menu are built directly into the carbon panel there you go william long obviously got one of them cool cool lord marcus got one beautiful Why do you have to allow gifts? I'm not sure. Yeah, raid protection from uh, Mr. Ten Sam. Yep. Schmenkins. Dude, what the hell, man? Schmenkins dropping 20 gifted uh, channel memberships. So if you get one of those channel memberships, make sure you send a thank you to Schmenkins as well. Wow, look at you guys go. Free raid, uh, raid protection plugin on Codefling and a paid one. Yes, correct. Yeah, man, balling exactly. Corn dog, thank you. Um, help quadriplegic run a server, and he's been struggling to get players in. Can you shed any advice? It's a two x semi modded custom map. Um, so here's the thing with that. Um, I do like the question. And while I would love to say, yes, there's a magic a silver bullet that's going to uh, get players into the server. The truth is that's not true. Um, the more important aspect to getting players into your server is building the community behind it. So build up your discord, build up your steam group if you're using steam groups and it just gradually takes time. Um, my second piece of advice is don't start with 2x. Honestly, uh, right now, uh, if you were just starting out fresh today, I would say the absolute minimum is 5x with a really fine-tuned loot table would be the way to go. And then the higher you go, it, I mean, it's a different type of player you get, but if you go to 10x or 20x, you get um, transient players more than you'll get loyal players. So, and, and all of this goes into building your community up. But I wouldn't start at 2x. I, I actually made that mistake. No rules, Rust. How's it going? 
try donating through the link in the video description. I get an error message right after donation dropped you DM. Let me know if you get it. I will in the video. Dis oh, okay. I'll have to check into that. Holy shit, death. That's insane. Death has now dropped another 50 channel memberships. Man, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Again, if uh, <laughs> if you get one of the memberships, like based on how many people are in here right now, uh, every single person that's watching this stream right now is going to get a channel membership. So thank you so much to Death for that. Yeah, uh, you guys are hilarious. Do I know about the Better Teams plugin? No, I don't. And I'm always looking for new things to look at. So maybe drop me a link in Discord. Let me know. Or I can just look for it myself. Yeah, Lord Marcus, that's that's absolutely key. Having a, a super fine-tuned loot table is absolutely the key to most people's success. Um, better loot is good. Magic loot is okay. Alpha loot is the bomb because you can literally tune everything. And it's like alpha loot is the shiznit. Yeah, death is always on a roll. Death death at Code Fling, uh, always super generous to the channel, which I hugely appreciate. Uh, oh, I lost it. Where did it go? Where did it go? Ultimate Archon Plus. So... Uh, Ultimate Archon Plus works because I'm currently using it right now. Um, if if I know Amino is not available tonight, he might not even be available this weekend. Uh, but if you don't make a connection with Amino, hit me up in Discord and I can help you out with that. Uh, the stream is usually about 60 seconds behind, but I'm always way behind on chats. Schmenkins dropping another 50 channel memberships. You guys are way too generous. Thank you so much. Yeah, no, absolutely. Hey, I'll take it. Making it rain over here. Exactly. Yeah, Alpha Loot is the bomb. Is like I I'm gonna be honest with you. Even before I made my video on Alpha Loot, I was terrified of it. I looked at the the Alpha Loot configuration uh uh program application, whatever. And I was terrified. I I just got intimidated and, and then never came back to it. So finally, when I did, I was like, oh, man, I should have been using this a long time ago because it's uh, it's the bomb. Um, Venom, that's actually a really good point. Um, if you're going to start off with if you were only going to start out with one server, I would suggest going with vanilla. If you were going to immediately start out with two, do a vanilla plus a higher modded server, at least 5x. <laughs> 50 is the highest, so it's a draw. Yeah, you guys are technically tied. You're both at, oh no, hang on here. So we got, so, well, technically Schmenkins has got 10 up on you. But you guys, like, y you understand that there's not that many people in the chat, right? So... Uh, yeah, not that it's, not that it's wasted because it goes to the same place, which is fantastic. And I appreciate that. But, uh, uh, yeah. Oops. Yeah, right. So better teams. Let's, uh, let me see what I can find out about better teams. I don't like how, how do you make better teams? Like what's, what's wrong with teams? Um, and um, and um, and um, and um. What have I done here? I've moved my folders around for some reason. Somehow, didn't mean to. Just started a vanilla server today. Who are you hosted with, or are you locally hosting? Let's see, and I can just go into my Discord right quick, and I can punch in better teams, and it's going to spit me out a result from anywhere that it finds anything to do with better teams just like that chaos has non code fling has better teams there we go better teams from shady and amino
Oh, no, it's not by... Sorry, my bad. I read that wrong. It's by... Ahigoa. Ahigoa. <clears throat> Enhances team gameplay by offering features like team HUD, automatic auth, team-specific skins, easy markers, and dedicated voice team chat. I like it. So I'm going to add that to my list right now. Better teams, code fling, later. All right. The arrows now work with alpha loot. Oh, okay. Oh, good. That means they, he took my feedback for one thing. You know what? Something strange that happens with with uh, alpha loot when you have alpha loot. Okay, when you have a multiple monitor setup, like I do, and you have alpha loot and rust going at the same time, no matter where they're placed on the monitors, um, rust no longer has a game lock, which means your mouse, your cursor, isn't locked to rust when the alpha loot editor is also open no matter what you do i've tried everything i told him i told kill you about that too and he didn't seem to uh he didn't seem to be too concerned about it and he's right because the 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 that's not going to happen very often to a lot of people but oh hosted with tempest okay cool <clears throat> oxf how come you see oxf and i see I see Ohigua, Ahiga O. Oh, I'm sorry. Vanilla is hard to monetize. Yep, I agree with that. That is shady. That's a valid point. Yep, I like that. Okay, Death, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Have a good night. I uh, always appreciate the support. And we need to still connect. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. Um, but you're getting terrible at responding to DMs. So I'm going to put that one on you, bud. We should be just about done with uh with these alerts here so on yeah i tr literally man schminkens i tried everything i tried focus unfocus i tried maximizing minimizing i tried going to windows mode uh windowed mode to full it, i tried everything i couldn't make it I, anyways it just i just dealt with it closed my editor and then everything went back to the way it should uh should be yeah bisect hosting cool I have zero, literally zero experience with bisect. All right, so I do want to tell you all a little bit about what I'm working on these days. Uh, I've got some really cool projects coming up. First of all, Amino has like a plethora of plugins and updates and things coming out. So I'm looking forward to spending some time with Amino uh, going over all of those things. But one thing, I got to fix this because it's going to drive me crazy. Just give me a second here. Move that all the way over there. Perfect. And then close and close. I've got like my Chrome and Brave browser all in folders on the top of the screen. And somehow it got moved. So before we get into all that, what did you guys think of Grafana? I should have actually done this differently. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go like that. What did you guys think of Grafana and the video that all went along with that? Because I thought it was awesome. YouTube thinks it's awesome. 
but it only matters what you all think. So here's a question. So for anybody that's seen the Grafana video, who went out and actually got a Hetzner server and set up their own Grafana panel? And if you did, what kind of successes or challenges did you have when you were setting that up? Hopefully it all went incredibly smooth uh, because while I was setting it up on that video, I was literally setting it up. Like I, there was no, there was no editing tricks or anything involved there. It was literally, and my end result was as a result of what I set up during the video, which was awesome. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, good. So that's good. It's uh, it's definitely getting out there then. That's perfect. Oops, that's not what I wanted. It's like it's my first day. So the first thing uh, here, let's do this first. So the first thing that I'm probably going to do a video on is an application called Rust Wipes or a web, uh, a service called Rust Wipes, which fully automates the wiping system. Now, this is only going to matter for people that don't currently have a an automated wiping system for their servers. So that means like guys like Iced Host. Um, uh, there's another one. Uh, well, anyways, Iced Host has a fully automated wiping system. And so obviously you wouldn't use that if you're hosted with Iced Host. However, if you don't have any type of a fully automated system rust wipes and the video that's going to be coming out shortly about rust wipes is going to be something that you're going to be interested in because it completely automates the process and uh, it is a beautiful thing. Wish the documentation out came out a while ago. It would have saved me a headache. Yeah, I agree. Well, the, the, the base documentation was available. Uh, but Lil Siv's version of the documentation only just, well, not recently, but like sort of recently came out. And the script too. Waiting for someone to make a PR plugin for hook times and carbon. Okay, cool. That's good to know. Shockbite, Shockbite didn't have a wipe system. Okay, so you would benefit from, if you're on Shockbite, which by the sounds of it, you're saying past tense, so you're probably not with Shockbite anymore, uh, but people like that would benefit from what Rust wipes. I thought I had, uh, let me just have a look here. I, I haven't been in here in quite some time. Yeah, so I do have my four, which should only be three servers. So I could, I could show you how it works right now, but that's not what the stream is about. I just wanted to let you know that that's what's upcoming. The other thing that I wanted to show you, uh, tell you about, is rank evil has anybody heard of rank evil and if you are or, or if you have heard of it are you using it and if you aren't why aren't you rank evil is a leaderboard system uh that is it's uh web-based discord uh discord based uh very minimal setup process in in fact it's literally drag and drop one plugin into your server uh, and then literally everything else is done here. Let me just, uh, let me just log in here real quick so you can actually see what it looks like. No, I'm not new to steam. Are you stupid? So let me get my, uh, validator up and going here. Just give me one sec. Oh, it's because my VPN is on. That is why. Oh my God, stop it. So anyways, um, once you're set up and I, like, I'm going to go into detail on a video, uh, on this. So like, you don't really have to pay attention to any, what I'm talking about right now. Uh, but literally everything is done from the website, all of your, uh, uh, options and features, instead of going in and dealing with a plugin config, you can do it or you have to do it directly from the website, which is super cool. Um, yeah, but it's, it, this is boss. Um, since I've been playing around with this. I've 
I've learned a lot more about why why it's good. And I'm excited to show it off to you guys. So this is uh, essentially what my what my leaderboard looks like. Um, and this is for my specific servers. And the one thing that I'll mention right off the top, except that I'm halfway through my spiel, is um, the the amount of time that they've spent on the algorithm that actually creates the leaderboard. So you might be wondering, like, how is this better than player challenges and stuff like that? Because there's no algorithm at all based uh, uh, with player challenges. So you can't just, like, manipulate the system in order to be on top all the time. Um, there's different aspects and different weightings that you can apply to PvP, gathering, you know, all of these different factors that are involved in the algorithm. And then through calculations, then it decides who should actually be in which position, which I thought was super cool. So we're going to get into that. That's an upcoming video, which is also going to an, include a live stream after the video launches with the developer of Rank Evo, which I think is super cool. Yeah, corn dog, exactly. It is hella easy to set up. It's so easy. I was I was shocked at how easy it was. You literally drag and drop a plugin and you're done. After you've done your linking, it's oh it's crazy easy. <clears throat> Referring to Rust server metrics, instrumenting them. I assume you're also talking about on carbon. What type of VPN can be used on Rust so I don't get in trouble with Face Punch? Uh, it's not necessarily, you wouldn't be getting in trouble from Face Punch. You'd be getting in trouble from that specific server. Um, I got to see if I can, uh, no, it's okay. <clears throat> because, the, and the reason I say that is because I have my VPN on literally all the time. So I'm, of course, doing what I do. I'm hopping all over the world to jump in people's servers literally around the world. And I will VPN to their country to get a better ping. I know that it's all like not real, but at least from the Rust side of it, it doesn't look like I'm causing a huge drag on their system. So to answer the question, I use NordVPN, uh, and it seems I don't. It's not. I don't have any issues with Rust. So Christopher, I don't know if you're talking about Rank Evol or. Uh, Rust wipes. So if it's Rust wipes, yes, it can be used on a vanilla server. If you're talking about Rank Evol, yes, it can be used on a vanilla server. The Wilderness, respect. Hello, hello. I wish there was something like that that did it for different groups within the permission system. Well, if you're talking about Rank Evol, there is. So here let me let me show you so this is going to look fairly similar i hope this is what you're talking about this is going to look really similar so you can set up these challenges right here and once once a person reaches or wins that challenge or whatever then they it, it works the same way as what you're probably used to in player challenges because you can assign them a role uh the you can uh, you know, grant them access to kits or, you know, whatever. So essentially you can't, I think if that's the question you're asking, you can do that. Yeah. So rank evil is just, uh, there's no in-game UI, so it's all, it's just in the chat area. Uh, the only thing that you it would depend on is like better chat, which is, um, which is um, I forget what I was saying there. I got sidetracked. Better chat, oh, lost it. Totally lost my train of thought right there. It's safe to use VPN on my own server. Yes, it is. In the the way the world's heading, 
they're going to have to get over the, the whole VPN thing because literally everyone is going to be using VPNs. It's just the way it is. Mike Jones, how's it going? Butter biscuits, that's okay. Welcome, welcome anyways. Yeah, mining tactics, hit them up in Discord. Um, I can grab a link for it. Uh, can I? Oh, come on. Where's your, uh, where's your invite link? This is, uh, this is off the cuff here. This wasn't planned out here. Um, potato, why don't you drop me an invite link in discord? Just send it to me DM and I'll put it in chat. Oh, on the homepage. I didn't even think of that. Derp. Derpity derp derp. Got it. All right. If you have questions, hit up this Discord. And uh, yeah, they're, they'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Oh, damn, I should have said something earlier. There was a contest running. See, I'm all over the place. Yeah, shit, it ended. Oh, no, it didn't end. Okay, cool. So there is a contest going in my Discord in the giveaways channel. So if you're not in my Discord, make sure you go to uh, uh, discord uh, discord.srtbull.com and then go into the giveaways channel. Um who is giving that away? Looks like. So Bippy Meister is giving away Easy Vote Pro, Easy Rust Service Setup, Rateable Bases Pack 1, 2, and 3 separately, and Rateable Bases Nightmare, and three 180 kit profiles. 180 kits profiles. So there's a giveaway going on in my Discord right now in the giveaways channel. Make sure you check that out. It ends in uh, five hours. So you've got plenty of time. But you're definitely going to want to go check that out. And so I'll just drop this link in here as well. So this is a link to my Discord. And I'm assuming most of the people that are watching this live stream are already in there. But just in case you're not. Holy, I forgot how dry I get when I'm talking for time, long time, and over end, over end. Oh, I think we're done our uh, our notifications. All right, finally, that's awesome. So thank you to everyone that sent in an astronomical number of channel memberships. I super appreciate that. Thank you so much. And I also wanted to tell you, ouch, about... I also wanted to tell you about, oh, I don't have the details on that yet, so I can't. There are some updates in carbon that we need to discuss. I have to touch base with death and probably roll and see uh, what, uh, how they want that displayed. Ah, uh, Schmankins, there isn't. So, So RAC, which is Rust Admin Community, is, well, I'll put it to you. I'll just be honest with you. That was one of the groups that I tried to make contact with and got snubbed. And um, so they are, they have direct access, access to all of the guys at Facebunch. And I wanted that access, not so that they could be flooded with messages from the community, but because 
it would show the community that they believed in what I was doing. So anyways, all of those Facebook, basically the entire Facebunch staff is over on the RAC Discord, and mine is the RAA, so Rust Admin Academy. Yeah. Yeah, it's basically RAC versus RAA. I never really looked at it like that. I didn't think we were in competition with each other. Um, I'm kind of putting it together now that we are, we have been, and I just didn't know that. I wasn't competing for their members. I didn't think they, uh, they were competing for our members. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't. Um, yeah, it just it got into an arena that I... I didn't like it. I didn't like, I didn't like it. <laughs> Essentially is what it comes down to. I didn't know we were competitors. But yeah, so I like, I got no issue. I will promote RAC. I have no issue with that. Um, it won't be reciprocated and that's totally okay. That's their choice. Um, but yeah, so yeah. That's that. So literally everybody that's watching this stream should have gotten a channel membership, which is amazing. That death guy, death and Schmenkins both. Like, I think that's what over, it'd be 150 channel memberships you all sent out there. That's super awesome. Oh, you left, you left RAC? Uh, you wouldn't need to like, I mean, I'm, I'm sure because it's, uh, probably more exposed. They, it might get a little bit more toxic than maybe rust admin Academy does. Um, but there's no reason to leave it. I mean, worst case scenario, you just mute it, right? I'm referring to, it's called Rust Admin Academy, or Rust Admin Community. Let me just see what it's actually called. Yeah, Rust Admin Community. RAC is their logo. Yeah. Um, I, I didn't, oh, you're talking about Red, a Reddit post, uh, Play Rust Admin. Actually, I don't know whose that is. Uh, Skull Crusher, if you got a membership, your name would change to green, I think, in chat. And if you didn't get one, I'd be shocked. Butter Biscuit, that's perfect. That's literally, that's what it's all about. And that's why I started the channel and the community uh, was to help out people just like yourself. The Merculator got a channel membership. Congratulations. So because there was so many sent all at all at one time, we basically got 150 channel memberships sent within like two minutes. Uh, it could take a while to apply, but I can almost guarantee you that uh, by the time it's all said and done, everyone that watched this stream should get a channel membership. No, there is no Discord server called Play Rust Admin. I missed the the slash r r slash. I didn't realize you were talking about a Reddit uh, a Reddit. Subreddit, there you go. Dana looks after Play Rust, like Dana the developer? I didn't know that. I haven't heard from Dana in so long. It's almost, uh, Dana was working on some plugins that I thought were gonna like take over. Um, and then I, d I don't know, maybe he went like more a private project with them, but he had an events, um, uh, an events manager. It was like the bomb. <clears throat> and, and then I never heard anything about it after that. I did. I think I did two videos on it and then, yeah, I don't know if it got left to the wayside or what. Oh, that brandy's that that that's a possibility. I'm not sure. 
I'm not sure how all that works, but yeah, you could be right. So what else did I want to tell you about? Oh, I can show you this. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at SRT Bull at both of those locations. Um, I've recently taken to Twitter because uh, I tend to get a little bit chatty at times and I need somewhere to express that. So Twitter is, or X I should say, is uh, where I'm doing that now. I'm going to put this link back up on the screen again. So we're going to start doing server audits. Um, and in order for you to be on the list of servers to be audited, you're going to want to fill out the Google form at the link that I'm showing on the screen right now. <laughs> Another open-ended thing that I wanted to discuss with everyone, and feel free to share this part out just verbally or through messages or whatever. If anybody has something that they want to see promoted on the channel, um, send me an email. Shoot me an email at srtbull at gmail.com. And just let me know what you want to do. I, I do get emails all the time. I do respond to all of them. Um, you know, whether I choose to pick up your project or not is we'll discuss it as it goes. Um, you know, there, there are projects that get brought to me that um, are really, really important to the person that's bringing it to my attention. But either there's another alternative out there that's already leaps and pounds better, or it's just not really there are times when i see things and i'm like ah, i know you put a ton of work into this but it's not really good for the community it's might be great for you but not necessarily for the whole community so i i have to make those decisions and they it sometimes get gets awkward um but yeah so if you have something that you want to see promoted shoot me an email uh let me know what you're working on and uh you know if you can send me screenshots, like, you know, promote your, promote your project. Let me know what you're working on and promote it to me. <clears throat> Don't know what a subscription does, but y'all are welcome. Uh, it's just a channel membership. It's, um, so for the for the next month uh they'll be chan they'll be members of the channel and then uh at the end of the month they'll be given an opportunity to like um uh support themselves instead of it coming from you it would, it would come from them and it's totally optional uh it just keeps a a membership going uh for the channel and it allows me direct access to just channel members. So I can send messages. I can make videos for just for channel members so that nobody else can see them, uh, which doesn't benefit the entire community, but it definitely benefits those members by themselves. Nicodemus, I was wondering if you were going to. Uh... Oh, no. Yeah, that is terrible timing. I was wondering if you were going to mention something about that. Nicodemus has a monster project on the go. Um, and it is super cool. I'm looking forward to covering it and bringing it forward. Uh, I, I don't know how much you want me to say, Nicodemus, but it's uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, uh, Bill L. I think that's how you say your name. Videos helped me so much in setting up my dedicated server. Just wanted to say a big thank you. Well, a big you're welcome. Uh, server audit is me and maybe some people from my Discord jumping into your server and basically critiquing it. Uh, what needs to be changed? What could be better? Um, just suggestions like, um, like you, you see it happening quite often, like uh, YouTube channels get audited all the time. And I thought it'd be kind of cool to maybe pr provide that same service for Rust servers. Because doing what I do, like I said before, I'm in a lot of people's servers all the time. And I know to be honest with you, like people, like it's like people get into a rush and they don't finish a project before they move on to the next one. 
and then they end up with plugins that are like half doing what they're supposed to be doing or maybe not doing anything at all, but they just, they're there. So they look unfinished. So it's stuff like that, that I would go in there and, and basically grill you on. Like, why didn't you do this? Or you should do this, or you should change that or whatever. Right? Like, yeah, just audit. It's me putting my voice, uh, me putting my opinion on something where maybe it wasn't asked for. Cause I can. Oh, sorry. Here, I'll give you the link again. I'll put it in chat and you can, uh, you should be able to just click on it. And if you can't, then obviously just copy pasta that. This is for the channel audits. Dan has been pushing a lot of updates and reviving some old plugins on UMod recently under this the name. Oh, this entities. I didn't know that. Okay. <clears throat> yes, you can absolutely buy your own subscription. Um, I assume you're talking about channel memberships. And I've got, it's ridiculous, actually. You can go, there's three different levels of channel, uh, YouTube channel memberships. There's three different levels of Patreon. And there's also three different levels of Discord VIP. Um, just because I've had people asking for different things over the years. Um, yeah, so I've, I've basically got it all. Plus, I have just a, a, a Streamlabs straight up tip. Oops. So if you just want to drop a straight up tip, no, uh, no subscription, uh, hit me up at the Streamlabs link that I just put in chat there. Brad Myers, how's it going? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, exactly. Nicodemus, that's, that's what I was thinking too. Um, kind of, I kind of looked at it as a teaser, like, yeah. Like this is what's coming, but I'm not going to give you too many details on it. Rizor, welcome. I was just talking about you not that long ago, actually. No, no, I, oh man. Oof. That is not what I was meaning at all. I wasn't indicating bad blood at all. Yeah, the Rust Admins Discord. It was, uh, I think they... I think they closed that down and then RAC. I forget how that all worked out. Oh, that is what it was. Yeah, that's where it all stemmed from. Actually, I was like, so the the um, the old Discord was shutting down or dissolving or whatever, and I knew that all of those players were going to be up for grabs, um, or I it was indicated to me that all those players were going to be up for grabs, uh, and then they weren't, and then they immediately all ended up in RAC, and I was like damn, I missed out on that opportunity, but it turns out I didn't have that opportunity to begin with. It was just a, basically a transfer from one Discord owner to another Discord owner. I do know that. Uh, is there a place to find reliable help with a server? I'm 16. I've been trying to keep a small community going by myself and it's about to kill me. So yes, there is um if you go into my discord now did we actually set that up or not i forget we it was requested that we put a yeah so there's a channel in my discord called looking for staff and if you're looking for somebody to help you out with your server or your community or whatever you can definitely post something in there i will caution you um actually just scrolling through here real quick it's it seems like a lot of people are actually using it for promoting their servers, which wasn't the intention. So I'm going to have to get uh, my moderators to clean that up a little bit. But yeah, you can post an ad in the looking for staff section. And if you grab somebody from there, great. If you don't, uh, keep looking. What I was going to say is I will caution you about bringing somebody in as staff that you don't know IRL. Um, you always run a risk. So be careful with how much permission how much access you give to your files your configs all this other stuff especially if you have premium plugins that you've paid money for uh, because once somebody has access to your your dashboard um, they can 
They can do nefarious things. Let's put it that way. The entire staff team got banned from Rust admins, including me, then created... Oh, see? I didn't know that. Picking some of the most diverse staff team possible. Okay, cool. Now, see, who in their right mind would ban all of these heavy players from a Discord just because they're... I'm assuming they threw a hissy fit about it. But, man, that that's crazy. I don't know. I don't understand. Everyone got banned from the old one. I, oh, one rogue management. That's crazy. I can't, that's crazy to me. I don't know why anybody would do that. Just having access to, like, the people that I have access to, like Riser, for example. Um, I've got uh, the the head honcho from Ice Host. I've got them directly in, like, I can message them right now. But having just having that access in a Discord like that to all of the guys from F Face Punch, why would you ruin that? That's really frustrating for me. So the channel audit um, is going to take place live on the next live stream. And if, as of right now, I'll be doing them once a month. Uh, I'm committing to once a month. I would love to be able to do them once a week. Um, maybe not necessarily doing channel audits every week, uh, but I'd like to launch a video and then do a live stream right after. That's in a perfect world. So right now it's going to be once a month. They'll be doing channel audits. No, not today. Yeah, Bippy, that's actually valid. I I just if I had if I was given that opportunity, there's absolutely no way I would screw that up. I think it would be a privilege to work with some of those people or work directly with some of those people. So did I go over everything that I wanted to go over? We've got uh, Easy Vote Pro is coming up in the very near future as well. Um, which actually, uh, so Bippy Meister, for those that don't know, uh, is is the developer of Easy Vote Pro, I believe, right? Yeah, I think so. And uh, sh showed me something that's not that 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 isn't directly related to Easy Vote Pro, but is a feature. That connects to another plugin, which completely blew my mind. I'm going to tell you all about that on the video. I'm not going to. We're not going to get into that right now. But Razor with the five dollars. How's it going, man? See, Riser, that's what I'm talking about, and that's what I was like at the very. You weren't here for the beginning of the stream, but that's exactly what I was talking about. Like, you know what? There's guys out there that probably do it better. Uh, like, um, what's his name there? Uh, Shadow Frax, like he's great at that. Um, but there's an aspect, there's an aspect that he's missing that I think I could bring to the table. And that's why I've been trying to reach out. I've been trying to connect with Al. I tried to reach out to Gary like moons and ages ago and have since tried reaching out to Alistair, but you just can't get him. Just can't get him. He won't respond. Yeah, Bippy, that was your uh yeah, that was your shout out, yeah. It, yeah, Shadow Shadow Frax is more of a promo. Yeah, for sure. Like and I love what he does too because um like he's always letting people know what's coming out on the next wipe and stuff like that, which is fantastic stuff. Like uh honestly, I learned about the the uh uh the new uh shipyard, the car car cargo yard ship whatever you know what i'm talking about from his channel um i wasn't watching commits close enough to notice that uh that it was coming and i learned it from his channel so yeah it's definitely uh yeah nicodemus that's exactly what it is and that got in my head uh in october of last year i was i started comparing myself to other people in the in the same realm as me and it's i can't because um there's nobody doing what i'm doing there's also nobody doing what Shadow's doing. Like, and so to, yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. I agree. Yeah, exactly. Riser, that's exactly what it is. So, I mean, if you get Alistair's ear, tell him to check his DMs because I'm in there. 
And that's exactly what it was, is I, I want to, I want to promote Rust to players. What I'm doing here is only for like people that are interested. So they're the people that I, uh, the people that I communicate with on a regular basis have already played the game and now want to start their own servers. So we're missing an aspect of the base rust, like how to play, how to get it, how to play it, how to set it up, how to, you know, all of that stuff. And I want to do that. Yeah, I knew who you were talking about. That's okay. If Face Punch had a TikTok, Shadow Frack should 100% run it. Uh, valid, uh, because I won't touch it. I won't, I won't do a TikTok. Uh, and that's, yeah, like I said, that's exactly what happened. Face Punch has a TikTok. Oh, there you go. So, Mr. Blue. Uh, <laughs> oh, please tell me that Mr. Blue is doing dances on TikTok. That would be awesome. But I don't, uh, I don't do TikToks, so. I can barely do YouTube shorts, let alone TikToks. Anyways, that... Riser, I'm glad you popped in today. I really appreciate that. That uh, even though I'd ha I'd already kind of moved on from that, it, you you kind of put my mind at ease there. So that's good. I appreciate that. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's a sharp. That's a sharp dig right there. Never mind the marketplace. I mean, granted, the marketplace needs to be done. There's no question about it. But how about the revamp of a certain website that we've talked about in the past? Because uh, I'd love to see that. I still have that tab open literally on my screen right now. I could pull it up and show everybody. I won't because I don't know if you want that out there or not. But uh, yeah, that, that website that we talked about needs to get revived. Somebody suggested that I should have a TikTok to promote my server. And I said, I don't want those kinds of people on my server. Um, I get why you would say that, but TikTok has an exposure that you'll probably never find anywhere else. It's not, uh, it's not a bad idea. GT, what's up? How's it going? Yeah, you... If you actually don't know, DM me right now and I'll answer you. But if you don't know which website I'm talking about, Mr. Blue, I'll I'll answer you. And he did do No. What? I can't believe you don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, I don't know if I can send this back to you. Here, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna uh, green shot this real quick, and I'm gonna send it to you. This is literally what I. Dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Just give me one sec here, guys. I just gotta send this screeny to to Mr. Blue. Here you go, bud. That's what I'm talking about. I'm all about the nostalgia. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> if he says it in chat, I'll show it. Send me the new design and let me show it right now on live. <laughs> Sorry, I'm talking to Mr. Blue in Discord or talking to Mr. Blue here but he's responding to me on... Okay, so he's not going to show it off. Okay, so it's a surprise. We're not showing it off. Damn! I want to break that. Let me break that. Yelnats, how's it go, man? Welcome. I'm so glad you made it. I'm so glad I'm back. Oh my god, you guys, you can't even imagine. Yeah, he won't. I, I, I asked him. He said he's not. he's not showing it. It's cats not out of the bag. There are some people that know about it, but not everybody. Not not the general population. I hope. 
Yeah, it's super good to be back. I'm I'm just being back in the studio making videos again. No, I I won't. Sorry, I don't normally interact with Discord. Oh. Oh. Ah. Uh, that's Holy shit. Okay. Sorry. I just got a bomb dropped on me. Dude, that's huge. Nope. Not talking about it. Stop bringing it up. We'll talk about it later. Um, yeah, I know nothing too, GT. Back to stream. Exactly. Forget all that. I'm going to put that out of my mind. Anyways. Uh, that's too funny. So, um... Because I'm talking to a bunch of admins, I know this isn't going to come to a surprise to anybody. But uh, anybody has has anybody tried the? Um, why can I not? Find, oh, there it is, the mini gun and the flamethrower. Because I haven't even touched them yet, and I wanted to do that today earlier, much much earlier, and didn't. And now I'm going to. Minigun is okay. Uh, so I'm not expecting much because like obviously there's going to be no ADS for sure because why would there be ADS on a minigun? Uh, let's see. Is this going to work properly? Yeah. Let's do smaller. Okay. Yeah, okay. So what's the reasoning for the... Oh, it's spinning up. Okay. Yeah, okay. I like it. And... What ammo does it use? I have both types of ammo. Have I lost my marbles? That's crazy. Oh, you load it. Oh, what? See, this is, yeah, that's funny, actually. This is, I probably should know this stuff because um, that's kind of my job. And I don't. Oops, stop that. I've got hotkeys on my keyboard that really... Uh, see, it's happening right now. It really screw things up. Oh, stop. Stop it. Oh my god, this is going to go poorly. I can see it already. Okay, stop. Oh my god, this is so bad. Sorry, just bear with me here. I just have to figure out which hotkey it is. This is embarrassing. Okay. I think I got it. Don't go again. Don't go again. Okay, I think I got it. Reload item. Oh yeah, see it's happening right now. <sighs> Such a derp. Okay, that's cool. I don't like Does any does this bother anybody else? So like unload ammo. So we've got capital A U capital A. Why is this? Why does it look like that? I don't know. Stuff like that bugs me. Yeah, okay, so the minigun's pretty badass, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I do like it. I didn't think I would. And then let's have a look at the flamethrower. Is this the same thing? 
No? Okay. So I'm assuming that we can... Can we just reload that like normal? Yeah, okay. We can. All right, that's cool. It's missing translation. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I knew what I did. I, It's so dumb. I, yeah. I've got hotkeys to do other jobs on my computer and they're toggles. So like if you, if you accidentally hit one and don't realize that you hit it, you have turned something on and then you got to figure out which one it was that you turned on in order to turn it off. It's so stupid. I should, I have two stream decks right side by side. I could use hotkeys on there and I don't, I use my G keys instead. It's so dumb. Just begging for, begging for problems. <clears throat> cool. Sorry to interrupt with the video on carbon setup. Uh, yeah. What, what about it? <clears throat> Spawn some players in. That is, uh, I forget what that command is. It is spawn NPC human test or something like that. Uh, NPC player test spawn NPC player test and let's copy that. Oops. Sure. Let's have like a bunch. Oh, they, they overlapped. That's so creepy. Oh, death to NPCs. Oh my, just annihilates them, hey? Jesus. That's vicious. I guess as a minigun should be. Yeah, that's pretty badass, not gonna lie. And that was only 100 rounds, not even 100 rounds. Cool. Oops. <clears throat> Do you know the actual name for the oxide to carbon video? Uh, I don't, but I can look because I have direct access to all of that because I know the guy that made it. I forget, was it a live stream? Maybe somebody can help me out with that. No, I don't think it was. It might have been. I don't remember. Oops. It was definitely last year, and we did like two or three videos on it. One of them was an update video, install carbon on a fresh server. Here we go. So this is going to, this is how it would be if you were installing it on a fresh server, but you can literally do the same process on an, a pre-existing server and then all you got to do is transfer every like you would transfer your plugins your configs and your data files from your oxide server uh, from your oxide folder into your carbon folder it's it's pretty seamless you won't have a problem It also makes my brain itch to say, how do you upgrade from carbon to oxide? Because it's not an upgrade. It's just a different method. It's not like, like I would never say that carbon is better than oxide or oxide is better than carbon. Um, that's not fair to either one of the, the organizations that are involved with each one of them. Um, they're just different. That's all. Holy, I like took down a bear in like two seconds. That's crazy. <clears throat> Let me check that message for manual approval. Let's clarify we're talking about bots in game. I don't I don't know what's going on there. YouTube made me check that message for manual approval. Oh, I got you. Oh, cuz you're a you're a moderator. I forgot you're a moderator. 
this month we oh here we here we go so the, this is raw he's one of the developers of carbon so this month this month we added migration system to carbon which makes it easier to switch over all you have to do is update the server with steam cmd and unzip the carbon patch carbon does everything so there you go that's actually huge so i'm assuming so here let me ask you a question raw does it Obviously, it transfers all the files out of the Oxide folder into the Carbon folder. Then does it delete everything from Oxide or does it leave that folder intact? See, this is one of the things that I needed to connect with Death about. Uh, he did reach out to me and say, hey, we need to do another video on Carbon. And I'm definitely willing to do that. We just we're having a hard time connecting. It's like playing phone tag. So the difference between carbon and oxide, um, there's a lot of differences and I fully encourage you to go check out the videos and the live stream that I did with the developers of carbon. Um, but one of the main features of it is this. And it's that you can control everything from inside the game. Um, you, can, you can install new plugins, uh, directly from UMOD, directly from CodeFling. Um, there was talk about one day maybe doing loan, but we're not there yet. Um, and you can edit configs directly from, so like this is what I currently have on this server. So I can just go into there and I can edit the config directly from in-game, right from the carbon panel. I can deal with permissions in here. Um, I can control the different modules that Carbon comes with. So by default, Carbon comes with a bunch of different modules, uh, which negates the necessity for different plugins. So um, example, you can control Gather Manager. Uh, there's an optimizations module, which is fantastic. The, ta the stack size manager works really well. Um, yeah, so there's definitely some benefits to Carbon. Um, it's just different. I, I won't say that it's better or worse. Um, it's just a different method of, of modding your server. And I fully support both of them. No, it doesn't touch any of Oxides directly. It moves all the extensions from the managed folder to the carbon extent. Oh, okay. Deletes the old Oxide DLLs. Okay, that's good. Cool. That's good. I'm going to check that out because that's people are going to want to see that. Link in the carbon docs under the pterodactyl page. Cool. Beatable basis doesn't work. Uh, I there's no reason. F no, I it should. I don't think there's any reason why it wouldn't. A link for carbon? Carbonmod.gg. Grabbing, thinking. Here you go. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, there's no reason to think that rateable basis doesn't work on carbon. Is there a way to make your server run smoother? Um, that's kind of a loaded question. The short answer is yes, there's always ways to make your server run smoother. Uh, the long answer is it's way too many different things for us to be talking about on a live stream. Uh, that's We would want to connect in Discord for that. Copy pasta. Copy pasta is a little messed up though. The position for this, uh, some of the electrical elements are in the wrong place. Yeah, but that's not a carbon issue. Yeah, Smash, exactly. More and more uh, hosting providers are uh, allowing Carbon on their on their systems, which is great. It was actually super easy at the time. Um, I like I'm as I'm still with Ice Host, and I wanted to do a video on Carbon. I had to I had to get them to add that option, and they they did it within minutes. It was great. Most providers don't have an issue with that.
I haven't specifically done a video on server optimization and you're right, that would be a good idea. So I'll add that to my list. It's something that I've meant to do for a really long time. Um, the thing of it is, just let me write this down. Uh, the thing of it is, is not a lot of people are willing to give up their little secrets uh, for server optimization. Carbon has one of module, uh, one of the modules that Carbon has built into it uh, does a, a bit of server optimization, which is great. Uh, it does help. Yep, I've added it to the list. Cool. Admin panel. Nope. It's uh it's built right in. So like I have it set up on a hotkey. Thanks, Rawl. I appreciate it. and I can hit that same hotkey and it goes away, which is super cool. Uh this panel that you see on my screen right now is carbon. Um it's the user side that you see. And as soon as you switch to carbon, you'll have access to this. It's not something extra that you have to do. So the performance percent difference between carbon and oxide, it's really hard to substantiate. Um, I've tried it. I tried having it set up just on oxide and then I tried having the exact same server set up on carbon and the, the, diff, the performance differences were negligible. Not, it's not that it's not there, it's just negligible. But the convenience of carbon as an end user is well worth it. Building grade might need an update. It's not necessarily a carbon issue. In fact, it's probably not a carbon issue. Can you update carbon without a server restart? It's had so many updates. I don't want to restart my server all the time for an update. Um, no. Um, I don't, here, let me put it like this. I don't think so. And it would work similarly to oxide like that. You'd have to restart for an oxide update anyways, right? Um, Oxide's been updated three times since wipe yesterday. Um, so you would have had to have restarted anyways, right? So the measurements that I've seen here, this is the question. So carbon and oxide are the same performance. The measurements that I have seen, carbon does have a slight edge. Uh, that mid, uh, migration process only happens on fresh carbon installations. Okay, good to know. So that's only for people that are switching from oxide to carbon. Which makes sense. Why would you want to do that after you've already switched to carbon? Yeah, that makes sense. So up one and up three not working can be what the problem... So it's not an oxide, it's probably not an oxide issue. It's going to be an issue with the plugin itself. Something has changed in oxide uh, or base rust and the plugin just needs to be updated. I find that strange though, because I was using uh, building grades or yeah, I was using B grade last night. Oh, you're talking about building grades, the up one, down one. I gotcha. Yeah, I haven't checked that. I did notice the building skins wasn't working yesterday and halfway through my building my base, it they pushed an update. So that was good. So Joker, that's a good question. Um, it's kind of six of one, half a dozen of the other. Uh, and there's no, there's no right or wrong answer. Um, if you, if you like what you're seeing on my screen right now, then go with carbon. If you're used to oxide, and you're comfortable with oxide and you're not looking to change that up, just stick with oxide. I, to be honest with you, I use both. So on my live server, um, my, my ominous 2x server, I have oxide on there. And the reason why I have oxide on there is because I've got five or six or 20 custom built plugins that I've tested on carbon and they, they don't work. And the developer of those plugins, um, won't communicate with anybody to make it so that they will work. Um, that got convoluted quickly. 
Um, so I'll probably never be able to switch that server over to Carbon. Uh, but I have another one, another live server that is running Carbon. Uh, backpack wasn't working. Actually, it was working, but just your visuals weren't working. Uh, and that's it now fixed. Yeah, that's right. Yes, there are big servers using Carbon. Absolutely. I won't name them, but I've I've been on them, and I know how big they are. And uh, yes. Well, they actually, so as far as the backpack plugin goes, they did, they, uh, I think it's, Whis is it Whispers? Uh, put out a, uh, an update. Yes, Mr. Blue, that is correct. There are also gigantic servers out there that use Oxide. I'm sorry, you're right. I should have said that. Oxide's been around for a really long time. So most old school um, you know, people that have been running servers for eight plus years, they're definitely still on Oxide. I'm sure of it. It'd be, you'd be hard pressed to get some of those larger communities to switch over just because they don't want to shake things up at all. Yeah. 10 years. Yeah. Oh yeah, exactly. It, 2013, I think Rust came out, right? Oops, sorry. All right, everybody, I'm going to wind the stream down. I got everything covered that I wanted to talk about. Let me just make sure that I actually did. Uh, so death and raw, we need to get to get together and discuss that. Um, I've got rust wipes upcoming. I've got rank evolve upcoming and amino. Uh, unfortunately, amino couldn't be here tonight. And oh, I should actually mention I don't know if I should, I'm going to do it because he's not here and he can't tell me not to. So Amino is actually doing a call on Sunday, I believe. No, uh, Tuesday. Uh, let me just pull it up here. So Amino is doing a community meeting on Tuesday. That's April 9th at uh, 6 p.m. Mountain Time. So if you have any projects or questions or concerns, uh, that would be a really good time to have some face-to-face -face time with Amino. And he's promised me, I know he's going to break this promise, but he's promised me to have a foot cam. He won't put his face on screen, but he'll put his feet on screen. So that'll be good. What ways are there to doing mapping within the game itself? Realistically, realistically, not terrain tools, but placing any prefab. Cool. And Mr. Blue says we talked about bringing those back. Cool, cool. Okay, everybody, I'm um, just to a couple of shout outs here. So we had Schmenkens that dropped. Let me count here. Uh, so Schmenk Schmenkens did 20 and 50. So he did 70 in total and death did 50 and 10. Oh, so I, I miscalculated earlier. So Schmenkens did oh plus another one. So he accidentally did another one as well so thank you so much to uh death and schmenkens as well as uh razor donated five dollars to super chat which i super appreciate thank you all so much for coming out to this live i appreciate you listening to me rant and rave for uh what are we at just over an hour and a half i think and uh it's good to be back i'm glad that i i decided to pick up my my webcam and get back to work Ugh. I didn't need to know that, Nicodemus. Not at all. Thank you all so much for coming. I appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one. Join the Discord. Uh, leave messages. And I can't believe I haven't said this yet, so make sure you leave a like on this live stream. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to... I commit to doing better because this feels like an absolute disaster. Thank you. See you again.